friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. I run this channel with my husband, Bobby. I am currently 16 weeks pregnant. I am expecting a baby boy at the very beginning of July. So I just finished my first trimester and I thought it would be really fun to do like a first trimester baby buys haul. It's very random and all over the place, but if you're anything like me, as soon as I found out the gender, I was off to the races, like addicted to looking at all the cute baby clothes and baby things. And of course I have accumulated some in the following two, three months. So I'm gonna start off by showing you guys all of the baby clothing that I got and then we'll move on to um, more like actual items. So I will link everything below too in case we have similar taste, hopefully we do. Um, and also I'll show you guys like obviously the stores that I'm shopping at, but if you shop at similar stores and you're watching this and you have bought items that you love from a store that I haven't mentioned, please drop it in the comments below because this is my first baby. I'm new to this whole thing and I would love all the recommendations on where to get all of the cute clothes. So, um, first up, Winnie and Crew. So <laughs> cute. Are you kidding me? Like obsessed with this little knit brown and white striped sweater. I mean, like, with a little beanie, I cannot handle it. It's gonna be so cute. Um, my husband loves that one as well. And let's see, what is this one from? I'm pretty sure I got this from Minnie and Ollie. If I didn't, I'm gonna like everything, so I will correct it on the screen if I'm wrong. I got this little sweater. Now, picture this for holidays because it has a little like deer on it and I think it's so cute for like Christmas time. Like maybe we're going to look at the reindeer or something or like feed them carrots. I don't know. I just saw it and I'm like, this is so sweet. So purchased it, guilty. Um, next up, this is from Winnie and Crew. And I love, this is just a super fuzzy Sherpa little baby onesie, it's long sleeves. I think this is gonna be so cute for fall um, and maybe going to the pumpkin patch or something. I don't know, it's just adorable and so soft too. Next up, this is from Luna and Luca and it has the little ears on the top of the hood. And I love this because it's super sweet, but it also has kind of a sophisticated feel. It looks expensive and good quality because it has a really nice, pretty knit material. Um, this was just a no-brainer. I saw it and I was like, he needs this. Um, and I cannot wait to see him in it. This is one of the pieces I am most excited for. Okay, you're gonna scream and die. Like truly, you're gonna scream and die at how cute. <laughs> these are, I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is from Mini Ollie and I, what do I need to say? Like this does all of the talking, you need it. If you're having a baby boy, you need to buy these. Like they are so cute. It's a fuzzy Sherpa and then the kind of cream and black polka dots with the little bear. I mean, Sign seal delivered, it needs to be yours. Next up, this is from Six. And oh my God, look at how little that is. That is so crazy. This is zero to three months because I'm having a July baby. So I needed something a little bit lightweight. And I got the matching little cap. <laughs> and I just think it's adorable. Like I was telling you guys, I mean, oh, well in a last video, I guess it was, but I'm obsessed with all things bear. So it had a bear print, so I bought it. Next thing I got, or hold on, my little Coco girl is getting a little bit jealous, so she's gonna just sit right here. You wanna participate in the video, Coco? She loves to sit here and look out the window, so she's gonna be patrolling the neighborhood. Um, next is this really cute onesie. And I got this from West Elm Kids. I just love it. It's a super soft blue and it has a cloud print on it and it just felt very soft and calming. But I actually wouldn't recommend these because 
the material does not feel nice at all. Like I don't know if I'm gonna really wanna put him in this because it doesn't feel like something I would want to wear. So that one's kind of a miss. It looks good, but I mean, at the expense of his comfort, no. And then lastly, my friend actually got me this and it says fresh out of the oven and it has a little croissant on it. It's from a little local bakery, which is so cute. That'll just be great to throw on. Cause like I said, he is gonna be a July baby. So it will be very hot. And then the other thing that I got that my husband is so excited about. I actually got this because I knew he would love it so much. I went thrifting earlier today with one of my friends and I found this black jean jacket. It's a vintage Levi's from the 1970s. And I was like, okay, he, <laughs> he needs this. This screams um, his dad. And I think he'll just look so cute with like a little sweatshirt underneath and a beanie and his little vintage jacket. I mean, it's a whole vibe. So <laughs> I can't wait. He's going to be a little bit bigger when he wears that, but still. Okay. So then moving on to actual items that I purchased. Um, since I just got done with the thrifted piece, I have a few other thrift finds that I'm gonna just show you guys now. Um, the teddy bear. <laughs> it's so cute with the overalls and the little red scarf. I saw it and I was immediately like, I need you, you're coming home with me. Um, it was $14, which is a steal if you ask me. Okay, if I haven't already, I just mentioned that I'm obsessed with bears. His nursery theme is also going to be bears. So there's parts of this picture I don't like, but I fell in love with the little bear on it and the little button that's sewn on. I don't like the frame and I don't like this little cardboard thing. So I'm gonna get the picture taken out and then reframed, but I don't think that will be too much of a hassle. And it was just so cute. And again, this was like $12. So I felt like that to me was worth it. Um, and then the last item that I thrifted for the baby, you probably could have guessed bears, but these are gold brass um, bookends and they're shaped like bears. So I can put all of his little cutie books on display and then do the two bears at the end. I mean, that's just so cute. Continuing on with the bear theme, we have this little stuffed animal bear because so cute. My grandma actually got me this for Christmas and I love it. She didn't even know I was going with the bear nursery theme. So that was honestly a perfect little gift for him. And then we also got him um, a little blanket. I think it's by Stefan baby. I got it at a boutique kind of close to where I live, um, but it's a bamboo cotton swaddle blanket. And it says um, this little light of mine and it's so sweet. So this is the blanket and it is so, 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 so soft. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all in frame. Let me try and stand up. It says little light of mine and the material is just amazing. It is super, super soft. The last thing I just wanted to mention, this isn't something that I bought the baby, but if you're watching this and maybe you have a friend who is pregnant too, or if you have a sister or anybody special in your life who is pregnant, my best friend Tara, she is basically a sister to me. We have been best friends since we were five years old. And um, as soon as I told her I was pregnant, she started doing this thing where every month she bought the baby a book. And I'll pull one out right here. Like, we love the toast, the podcast. Um, oh, I wonder if anybody else here listens to the toast. If you do, let me know because we need to be friends. Um, toasters unite. But anyways, if you listen to the toast, you know Jackie Ashray um, came out with this book and she bought me the camper and the counselor for the baby's two month um kind of book present and inside every one of the books that she gives me she writes down like baby andres me and your mama love the author of this book we listen to her podcast religiously i laugh as i write this because when you've grown up i'm sure podcasts will be obsolete 
we heard your heartbeat this week and it made it that much more real. This book is about facing fears, living life, and having fun. I will always be here for any adventure. I used to push your mom to do so many things, zip lining, Disneyland rides, parasailing. I think you will push her too, and you should. Trust me, she always loves it in the end. This is month two. I love you always, Auntie Boo. And so I like cry every single time I get a new book and read that message for the first time. It's just so thoughtful to not only take the time to like pick a book that resonates, but then to also like go the extra mile and write him a little note. Like he's gonna have that forever. And it means so much to me too. Like it's just the kindest gesture and it's something I'm gonna reciprocate whenever one of my friends gets pregnant and has a baby. So um, again, if you have somebody in your life who is pregnant, I would highly recommend doing something like that because it's truly so sweet and has made such an impact on me. But that is everything that I have bought so far in my first trimester. I I don't know. See, my husband thinks that it's way too early and that I've already bought a lot of stuff. But to me, I'm like, was that a lot of stuff? I don't know. Um, so let me know. Like, do I have any other first trimester mamas who are just going crazy after they find out the gender of their baby? Or would you consider my haul pretty tame? Um, would love to know. Take my sign. Say it's tame. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna do another video kind of like this going over everything that I'm putting on my baby registry, but I still need to kind of fine tune that. So that's to come. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and being here. I really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe, that would mean the world. Um, but anyways, thank you again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.